There are hardly any video reviews out there and that's why I'm also including a lot of blogs and online, well, websites. So some of the points, very understandable, some of them not so much. Before we get started, if you want to see all my videos about the Atom XL, then just type in Chris Viral Atom XL in the YouTube search, hit enter and you will find all the videos. When you have seen this video, you will have seen it all. So let's get right to it. Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Sunday in our day and our chance to push hard and the topic for this vlog is taking a look at all the other reviews about the Atom XL. So let's get it. By the way, all the product reviews right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. If you missed my previous vlog, you can check it out right here. A review after one week. All in all, I'm pretty satisfied with the device. I'm pretty happy. But now let's take a look at all the other reviews out there. Let's go through their key findings. I will reflect them with my own opinion. When you have seen this video, you will have seen it all. So let's get right to it. There are hardly any video reviews out there and that's why I'm also including a lot of blogs and online well, websites. Starting it off with Android Central, the pros are great size and durability. This phone exudes toughness. It does. It does look like it's crazy tough. Solid two-day battery life runs on Android 10 out of the box. Optional walkie-talkie, outdoor option for multiple users and the speaker is loud. But yeah, it's rear firing. The cons, they say, one of the many reviews that dislikes the camera. Photo quality is bad, uneven exposure, bad colors, blurry image. I haven't paid close attention to that, but I'm pretty sure that it's not that blurry. I did an extensive demo video about it. Anyways, screen doesn't get nearly bright enough outdoors, so that's definitely a conf if you're an outdoor person. Screen touch sensitivity is inconsistent, I haven't noticed that. And lastly, can disable the capacitive buttons, but gestures work though. The next one is from Bud Talbot, a DMR expert, at least I think so. Got a few great insights from him. DMR device area are zones, and the device comes preloaded and new zones can be created. Secondly, DMR DMR stops transmitting when the phone gets too hot. Thirdly, DMR audio is quite hot, meaning the level of the audio. 8 inches seems to be a good distance for transmission. So when you speak, hold it around 8 inches away from your face, basically. Pros, there is no direct talk group entry, but it's easy and simple to add contacts. The device works well and it has incredible battery life. And the DMR audio quality is good. If I remember this correctly, he said that this is not necessarily the case with other models. The cons are security updates are slow. There is an ongoing discussion in the Facebook group. At least that's something. There is no app launcher. That means you can swipe up from the bottom and all the apps will be on the screen all the time. You can remove them from the screen. You need to put them in folders, basically. The max limit send time is 60 seconds, talking about DMR, and this is basically the transmission timeout timer. And lastly, DMR zone select is a bit clunky. Moving on to another YouTube review. And don't forget, the version without the DMR capabilities is around $50 cheaper. This is the Atom L. Same phone, same size, except there is no DMR. The pros, it's a compact dual SIM 4G smartphone, Gorilla Glass with oleophobic coating, Fingerprint sensor is fast and accurate, face unlock works well, haven't tested that but I saw it and yeah amazing. Speaker is well placed and surprisingly loud, that is right, you will get stock Android and smooth operation. Great battery life and fast charging, solid build and great durability ratings, DMR with a big range up to 8 kilometers, but it drains the battery fairly fast. It is budget friendly with many extras, for example NFC, IR blaster and all of that good stuff. And like me he also likes the camera, I think so too, it's a decent camera. Can complain too much about the freaking camera like what are you what do you mean the cons are this is an outdated cpu and it is thick and heavy here we go with another website review the pros it's incredibly small and lightweight this is basically the exact opposite what the other dude just said but anyways it is small but then it's not so small um whatever you see it's all a matter of personal opinion it's a solid ruggedized construction feels rock solid in the hand the tiny screen is surprisingly usable yes i think so too you can type well i was able to type without problems. It's like one of these old iPhones this, talking about the size. It's not too bad, but it is surprising though. DMR walkie-talkie and dual SIM. Yes, yes, yes. Headphone jack and built-in FM radio. Great price. Excellent call quality, both on Wi-Fi and cellular collections. <laughs> 
connections so that's great audio quality seems to be amazing with this device so that's something but here are the cons it is difficult to set up with some carriers apparently with t-mobile and at&t for example again there is no app drawer by default you would need to install another launcher for that the small screen is not ideal for some applications camera isn't great and the screen is not bright enough and this is kind of a big deal since the phone is clearly designed for outdoor use that's a good point <laughs> so keep that in mind another video the pros are this will come with an 18 watts charger it has dedicated hardware buttons which is rare nowadays well they are capacitive but yes <laughs> big battery for the small form factor that's that's right it's a solid build and the buttons feel premium and it's very grippy and absolutely the buttons feel amazingly premium they feel oh it's amazing to yeah as i said i don't want to put dance on this thing it's kind of funny it's made for extreme conditions and stuff but then it, it just looks so amazing and you know i want to keep it safe so <laughs> it's funny how this works anyways the small form factor makes this phone interesting indeed but there are lots of bezels actually big bezels and it's just a tiny screen well yeah obviously moving on to a power user shout out to rusty if you want to see this phone getting abused then check out his channel the pros are it seems like a good deal but there is no information about it online indeed but i'm about to change that at least i hope so it's a decent phone that can be thrashed around and dropped without breaking it can do everyday things easily the fingerprint sensor works well that's right absolutely it's fast the camera has good quality i think so too so for basic dudes like me and him apparently like the camera is just fine i mean i'm basic i don't know if i'm, I'm sorry like no offense right there i mean just never mind i'm stupid all in all it's a smooth experience and no legs he also said well okay here here are the cons it's a bloody thick phone and also the aluminum bag can easily be scratched and ah this hurts this thing is looking so good I just can't repeat myself i don't want to ding this thing up i don't want to scratch it also dust and debris collect in the speaker holes and this makes the speaker sound bad he recently came out with a follow-up video to his first review basically he was complaining that his speaker wasn't sounding right after all the stuff that has accumulated in there he wasn't able to clean it out but he got a new speaker from the factory so that's something and also dust and debris will also collect in the charging port and the headphone port so on one hand it's nice that they are not needed but on the other hand when they're just not existing you can't cover up these holes and lastly it does come with a bit of bloatware i don't think it's that bad you can disable well most of the apps but yes there is stuff on this phone then tech raider pro says it's a great price great price oh nice that's a weird mistake right there it's a solid build and it feels extremely sturdy yes oleophobic screen seems to be great i'm using the screen protector so this will protect the screen but it also won't utilize the oleophobic coating anyways 48 megapixel camera and ir port dmr functionality on a budget and that is actually right this will give you digital mobile radio on a friggin budget and the dmr can deliver up to 2 watts of power on 400 or 800 megahertz bands and this translates to a range up to 8 kilometers of course only in line of sight but that is massive the cons are the screen brightness is too low or actually it's low it's an old cpu mediatek p60 and there is no cover for the usb or headphone port hammering home the point from the last review as well also there is a little note dmr stands for digital mobile radio and it is a limited open digital mobile radio standard pioneered by the european telecommunication standards institute etsy wow i barely got that out and finally here we are with the last review by the verge they say it's bigger than the atom but it's still a small phone which is right you will still make other phones look big pros it's like a rugged iphone se which also has the same spec surprisingly it has a big battery for the size and a strong battery life it feels like it could survive a fall down a reasonably large hill that was funny i had to include that it's easy to use in one hand but chunky bezels above and below the screen screen space is a little cramped and typing feels more difficult if you're used to larger screens but you will adapt to this and it does work surprisingly well well it depends on your finger size i guess but for me this is not really a con and it's just medium spec hardware okay back to you chris so some of the points very understandable some of them not so much so far this will be the last video about the atom excel there will probably be a long-term review one day in the future but this concludes the atom excel project next up will be a tablet so yeah all tech reviews next vlogs will be all about tech reviews it's crazy but this is my life now smash the like button away i'm getting smashed with tech stuff to <laughs> For reviews, ping the bell like pa, to never miss product reviews and check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.